Agent May, isn't that the soldier from the freeway? The one that shot you in the throat? I thought so. Sick of So real quick, just to clear something from, from the last episode of this, Omega is the only one with the power to take over Deku's body. So yeah, just clearing that up, I got that wrong last time, so only Omega. Okay, now let's get on with part two. You have no idea what kind of trouble you are in. Bakugo would look at Deku in complete bewilderment at his change in voice and appearance with his eyes now being a dark shade of purple. Deku would then look back at Goro directly in the eye and say something along the lines of Ah, you fight like a son of a fucking kangaroo hurting Canadian. Upon hearing this, Bakugo would instantly rush Deku. But like in the anime, he gets caught and, he's a, and Deku throws him over his shoulder before delivering a swift kick to his back, sending him flying into a wall. Bakugo would then recover and demand an answer to what's going on with Deku. Where Deku would say, Well, I think MJ Caboose put it best. I told you, my name isn't Caboose. My name is O'Malley. From there, O'Malley and Bakugo go into a full on brawl with O'Malley most of the time managing to keep the upper hand and humiliating Bakugo in the process. Eventually, Bakugo decides to fire a point-black explosion with his gauntlets. O'Malley in response tries to throw up a domed energy shield, but is unable to for some reason. This leads to Deku being knocked out and extremely injured from having taken the full force of the explosion. Deku would then be rushed to recovery go by All Might, where he would ask why his quirk didn't activate to which Sigma and Delta would appear and explain that his body couldn't supply enough power for, the, for his quirk to function. But they do bring up an option that could work to power the quirk. They explain how they are able to interface with technology and then they bring up the second part of their suggestion. They say if Deku had a suit that could supply him with, with energy then maybe he could sustain his his abilities for longer. So we skip forward now and because of his injuries Deku finds it harder than normal to speak and Aizawa is currently saying that he's disappointed in Deku for not realising this factor of his quirk but while he's being berated O'Malley manages to take hold once more and kicks up his desk and punches it towards Aizawa who is just barely able to dodge it and activate his quirk but the second a razor head activates his quirk, Deku drops to the ground screaming in pain. And when the razor head stops using his quirk, Midoriya passes out. Once Deku regains consciousness, he discovers that if a razor head had used his quirk for any longer, he likely would have killed the, his AIs. Omega took the brunt of the force since he was the one controlling Azuka's body at the time. He's not dead per se, he's still inside Azuka's head, but. He won't be able to come out for a while. This then leads to Gamma suggesting that they shouldn't trust Aizawa. He even manages to get Theta to agree. Delta even suggests having a special compound added to the helmet of the suit that's being made for him, so that even if Eraser Head did use his powers on them, it wouldn't hurt the AIs. Now we skip forward to the USJ and Deku's had his helmet been built and he basically wears it everywhere he goes now. Omega has also started to come back but he doesn't seem to have the ability to take over Azuku's body anymore. So when the villains attack the USJ everything happens the same up until Shigaraki tries to kill Tsuyu and Deku jumps in to punch him but the Nomu gets in the way. But when Deku's fist connects he feels like something is leaving his body and going into the Nomu. So he quickly pulls back his fist and gets into a defensive stance, but then All Might shows up. And from there, everything goes as it would in the anime. 
but the Nomu will pay special attention, attention to Bakugo, and the Nomu is able to escape with Shigaraki back to the League of Villains headquarters. In the aftermath of the USG event, Deku and All Might still need to be taken to be healed, but at the League of Villains, Shigaraki mentions to All For One that something happened with the Nomu that was odd, and that it's been acting weird ever since. And with Deku and the AIs, he, they have been trying to figure out why the, when he touched the Nomu, it felt like his part of his soul was going into it. And they eventually come to the conclusion that since the Nomu had multiple quirks, and Deku technically has multiple quirks as well, that, that, that there may be some sort of link between them. But for some reason, Omega hasn't been taking part in the conversation and has just sort of been in the back of Deku's mind for a long time. So we're moving forward now to, this, to around the time where the UA Sports Festival will be starting. Deku's suit is nearing completion, but even if it was complete, he wouldn't be allowed to use it. He is allowed to wear his helmet though. He put in a requisition form for that similar to how Aoyama did for his belt. And yeah, we're going to leave this off now, and next time, the sports festival. These are, these are hard, harder to make than I thought they would be, huh? Just, I'm, I'm just saying, don't expect updates in like two weeks. Like, wait a few months, then there'll be an update.